Hello and welcome back. Thanks for joining us. While our New Year's Eve day ride was really enjoyable, we did run into some technical and audio difficulties, but we managed to get through that. But if you haven't been to the Mission Hike and Bike Trails in Mission, Texas, it's worth a visit, particularly if you're a beginner mountain biker, which I totally am. But if you like stories, true and honest reactions where I'm not afraid to look like the novice that I am, but one who's definitely willing to learn, then stick around and maybe hit that like and subscribe. So much grass. Okay, so a couple of technical difficulties starting the ride today. So that footage will be tossed out. Let me try to catch back up to what I was saying. Good morning. <laughs> we'll start with that. As of filming, it is December 31st, 2021. By the time this comes out, it'll probably be a couple weeks into the new year. Got some other stuff planned as of now to come out at different times. But what better way to start the last day of the calendar year? Get out, ride, be a little bit better version of myself today. Be grateful for the year. Remember to be grateful for the year. Sometimes it's easy to gloss over. But be cognizant of what's to come. You coming? Road. Gotta take a left. Oh, I hate this part. So much cacti and a pretty irritating drop. It's that stupid stick. I feel like when I hit my head, it's stuck by cactus. That was better than the other day. Controlled descent. That's what we're going for today. Remember, every time we come out, be a little bit better, a little bit more confident, make a little bit more progress. Anyway, so the tech issues, trying the Grob Grip. It's a non-battery gimbal. Up. A little bit better than the other day. Good job. Anyway, the Grob Grip. It's a non-battery gimbal with some weights. I don't think I got the weights counterbalanced quite right. Because the opening footage of the opening part of the trail is just swaying all kinds of back and forth. So, mess around with that this weekend. Try to get that better dialed in. And then next week, we're going to San Antonio. 
get in a ride at McAllister Park. Because the last footage I took at McAllister didn't quite turn out as well as I wanted it to. I made it up. That's better than the other day. Eyes on the track. That's why we wear helmets. <laughs> Can I try the other one downhill first? <laughs> yes. Okay. Not not feeling it. Huh? That's why you're gonna live longer than, you. Gonna live longer than you? Yeah. All right. The downhill scare me. I don't. The drop in. I, I don't know. Earlier in the month, when we were at McAllister. I did my first drop in, and I looked at it. And it didn't look that bad, but it. Man, the first one you do. I don't know. It just, it got, it got me. But I did it. I think the last thing I said to myself was, I've got good health insurance. Uh, and I do. Fortunate with that. But anyway, I keep getting torn off. The grab grip. It's not battery operated. So, you know, I was trying to, as I'm easing my way into this sport, easing my way into ways I can better chronicalize, like, remember, you know? Like, the videos being for, not just to put them on YouTube, but almost like video diaries in a sense of the fun stuff that we do, the new stuff that we learn, right? That whole part about reflecting upon a year and remembering to be grateful. Because I get to do this. Because I work in a professional environment that allows me the opportunity to do this. Roll down. Which I'm grateful for. But there are times when I'm just too mentally absorbed in work. And all the possibilities, what I want to do versus what our resources allow us to do. And I, I get in my head. start of that one again and then we can break off and go to take it easy and then maybe we can end with a levee run yeah. and end with me going down that thing again yeah. try to end on a high note yeah. uh, it was on the early part of the trail or the end part of the trail part. okay it was like this thick. I don't I don't like the sound of that at all all right so this is technically the start of the second run for levee run Remember, I had those technical, technical issues. Hopefully we got those sorted. We'll see how the footage turns out. My better half said she saw a snake on the trail that slithered away into the grass. Um, we're lucky that I wasn't the one to see that. Getting ready to post a video. So today's Friday as I'm when I'm filming this. And on Monday we came out here for the first time. And it was just kind of wrought with some mishaps. The things that 
just a lot of things that didn't go quite right. We persevered, we pushed through, we got it, we, we got to some runs. You can check out that other video, kind of know a little bit more about what went wrong. But uh, in that video, one of the things I said was, was in my own head, I am positive snakes are good for the ecosystem. I am positive they have a place, they do their part. I know they're needed. I have an irrational fear of snakes. Uh, and I live in South Texas where the common snake here is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. I believe the Timber rat Rattlesnake is also quite common. <sighs> irrational fear. Uh, I could probably go back and check my Garmin watch from the time that she told me that she saw that snake. I bet my heart rate shot through the roof and I wasn't even the one to see it. But, uh, that's, maybe that's good. She's willing to lead, pave the way on some of these high grassy items until I just get a little more comfortable in my overall surroundings. It's good to have a partner that does those things for you. So this trail we took for the first time the other day, it's called Take It Easy, it's a blue square, blue trail, up and over here. We really liked this one the other day, really windy, relatively flat, just a few little, you know, bloops up and overs, really enjoyable, it's not too hot today. So as you ride, there's gonna be a little bit of a breeze. Down we go. So hopefully this trail will be just as enjoyable today as it was the other day. Because there's a connector trail, like the next trail in the system after this one is called a uh, psychopath. Hopefully the name is not indic indicative of you know the weirdness or the difficulty it's a, it's a blue trail we haven't been on that one yet but it is closed so the park folks have hooked up a unknown trail to get off of take it easy to get back to the greenway we saw that the other day so it was really helpful but uh oh here's that funky uh that I don't know even know where the jackhammer trail is. Okay, hold on. But uh, anyway, so the psychopath trail that connects this one to the next one to the next one to like to connect the whole system is closed. I think it's under some repairs. So there's a no name trail to uh, get us back to the greenway. So we might not get too many separate trails today. We just might get a few rides on each of the ones that we're able to do today. Hopefully that makes sense. But this one was long and windy and just really enjoyable. And I'm not sure I'm keeping up with my goal of just pick a, pick a quicker pace on this particular trail today, which means for me, being more diligent about how I take my turns. And uh, that's something I need to work on, something I'm not exactly very good at. So that means this is as good a day as any to practice that.
And Dottie is a lot more adventurous at this type of stuff than I am. There are other things like with heights where I'm a little bit more adventurous, but this is where we balance each other out. Just one of the many ways we balance each other out and help push each other. So I'm really lucky in that regard. But I'm just really lucky to have found someone who does this type of stuff with me and pushes me when I'm out of my comfort zone. And I'll do the same for her on those things that come a little easier to me. That's really, really very cool. This is a cute little bench. I remember to roll my sleeves down for this in anticipation of the pricklies getting closer. I want to be picking cactus spikies out of my arms or legs again. See the video from earlier in the week that we recorded. I don't know, maybe the 27th maybe? December 27th video? That was part of the, uh, there were just a day of mishaps video. And then we came back out Wednesday and we're back out today. We just also ordered the GoPro 10 I don't think it's something I've mentioned on this channel yet, but I also do leather craft. Like I make wallets and journal covers. You can check that out at ghostrosedesigns.myshopify.com. Thank you. Have a good run. Bye-bye. Ooh, pricklies nearby. Thread that needle. Cactus Alley. Well, wait, that might be a little further on into the into the trail. <sighs> but yeah, so we ordered another GoPro 10 because I also make videos for the leather work that I do. And there's a YouTube channel for that also, Dos Rose Designs. You can go see how I make some of the products that I make. Some how-tos, some quick videos, discussions about different types of leather, which leather for which project. So, a couple different interests. Kind of back to the, the premise for this channel, you know, the whole idea of really just living life outside of work, right? Be grateful for work. It's what it's good. It provides. It's enjoyable. But during the pandemic, when we were working from home, and most of the, mostly though, I felt like I thrived working from home. I'm that much of an introvert. It takes a, real, a whole lot of energy to extrovert all day, all week. Uh, other introverts will understand that. Extroverts might not. That's okay. But I had folks, you know, they would Zoom chat you, right? Zoom, 
blew up during the pandemic, right? Uh, and it replaced, at least for me, if I had a question for somebody on my staff, I'd be like, okay, I'm just gonna get up from my desk. I'm gonna go knock on their door and be like, hey, if their door's open, do you have a minute? I'm gonna ask my questions. But the Zoom chat kind of replaced that, right? So then all of a sudden it was just ping, 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 ping. Like, I even had to say something with my staff. And I, you know, I'm trying to, everybody does things differently. But don't. I'm okay, keep going. I don't need to do everything my way. But uh, I had to tell them like, hey, I'm gonna email you if it's not pressing. Like there, there came a, a communication order, like the importance, the, the level of importance, the level of uh, urgency for things changed in how I needed to communicate with my team. And uh, in doing that, I was trying to set the, like model the way for how I hoped others would also do it because not everything is you know zoom ping you know like sometimes it's just a matter of do we need to chat or do we is it a quick question is it something like do we need to schedule a quick 15 to 20 minute zoom call so that when you're in the middle of stuff and I just felt like I was getting constantly I hate saying it this way, but interrupted by the Zoom dings. And I know, like, that's it. It was everybody's reality for, to a certain extent. Omicron, the new variant. I mean, it's, some people are still working from home. That's just the, the new reality and still new reality for so many people. I just needed to be a little bit more intentional with how I communicated with my team in that regard because I thought if I was feeling this way, others might be too. But with all of that working, oh, full tight. Ooh, what does that look like? Skeet shooting, yeah. And bow and arrow. Oh, cool. Good water break spot. Also, I'm gonna pull my feet down. Yeah. I think I figured out why I can't really get a bump to kind of go over some of the bumps. Because the stem is too long, I can't pull it towards me. Like, it's shorter, I guess. Yeah. And a little bit of a rise. I haven't learned how to do that yet. Alright, ready? Yeah. So, having a, changing the way that I was doing stuff, I it took a toll, like, and I think I mentioned this in the Wednesday video, the video we recorded on Wednesday, oh, they might not come out, like, one, like, one a week, that's probably how they're going to come out, somewhere around there. But anyway, if you're happen to be following along, so like in the Wednesday, as of this week, so I'm shooting this on a Friday, the Wednesday video that we made, I was talking about how it, I had to own that I just couldn't, it was affecting my mental health. Uh, I couldn't make the separation between work and home. And, you know, folks were dinging, Zoom dinging, after well after work hours you know and i'm not necessarily like you know what i am a lot more now um i didn't used to be i work in higher ed when you work events you work late your hours flex that's one of the best things about my job it is rather flexible you work to serve the students so your hours flex when you're ser serving the students in, the, in different capacities but When folks were dinging me at like 9, 10 p.m. 
I was, I was not okay with that. I just, you know, barring an emergency, an actual emergency, there needed to be separation. And it, it really wore on me. So when one of the things that I picked up was in the evenings, that's when I got more into making the films for the videos for Dos Rose Designs in terms of the, the leather craft, the leather business. And I really enjoyed it. But then, I know, I'm breaking YouTube rules when I say things like, I didn't really choose a specific niche for this channel. I chose a channel. And it was really more for me. Video diary, chronicle things, be able to have a library of stuff to come back and look at. I don't get me wrong, I hope people look at it. I hope people look at it and be like, I have never been to South Texas, to the Rio Grande Valley. I've never been to the Rio Grande River, the U.S.-Mexico border. I've never been to San Antonio. I've never walked the river walk. You know, I hope people see or say that and, and see the video and they're like, oh, that's cool. But uh, I would like to make a difference that way. But more to the point, I love learning. And the leather stuff came about just before COVID because that's when I finished my doctorate and I found I had all this time on my hands and my brain needed something to stay stimulated. I think we're getting ready to come up on that uh, no name road. Oh, that's right. Coming. And I made it. Good. Water fire ants. Gotta go this Morning. Morning. <laughs> Where'd the breeze go? It's kind of confusing because that one's closed. Oh, I asked for a breeze, not a wind gust, but that's okay. I'll take what we can get. Although the wind gusts are not, not friendly in general, even more so with fat tire bikes. Little bump. Stand up. Ugh. Woo! Three straight or three days of riding this week, so my um, my behind is feeling it. It's all right. It's a good way. It's a great way, actually, to be active over the holiday break. 
get back this weekend before I go back to work next week. Oh, final stretch. That's right. Yeah, you're good. And that big, uh, yeah, it sounds good. But, uh, take a, take this week to get everything back, dialed back in on the bike as best as I can. I'm still learning that too. I want to do a video in the future with some of our friends in San Antonio who know a lot more about bike maintenance. And, uh, film that, ask some basic questions. Like, we also have planned like a video podcast that we can do even virtually. We wanted to get that done this week, but schedules just didn't, didn't quite work. I'm gonna use OBS to screen record some stuff and just do a little Q and A. Cause you know, beginners have questions, right? Oh, here's that big thing up here. You gonna try to do it? No, but I'm gonna try to fix that one. But I just need a little speed. That's a good line. <sighs> yep, that was a little bouncy. A little bouncy, but I got it. <sighs> Thread the needle. Anyway, I want to do a little Q&A. Uh, we were planning virtually because I thought we were going to get it, be able to get it done this week with our friends in San Antonio. But we're all in the same spot. We might be able to do it in person. We're all vaxxed and boosted. Is that the right way to say that? I don't even know. But we are. Either way, it'll be a fun filming idea. You want to go in and do the back end of Levy Run? Uh, I think an entrance to Levy Run or where we came out of, that we would go the wrong spot. So the entrance that we would take is right behind you. That's going to the backside of Levy Run. Okay, you want to just do the back? Yeah, well, if we want to do it again, we can. But yeah, we're here, we might as well take it. You put just the back? Yeah, but then okay. if we want to do it all over again, we can. Oh, okay, okay, I see. If we feel the urge. off my pedals. That can't be good. Whew. Good workout though, right? I'll be okay finishing this and calling it a day. better at that every time we do it and that is 
what we're shooting for. Better, better. Uh, watch where you're going though. Put your eyes where you want to go. Some overcorrecting there at the bottom. I made it. I don't think so. I'm just not feeling it. I'll end on a straw, I'll end on a good note at the end. That's all right, that one will still get the better of me today. And I'm okay allowing that to be the case. really loose and I was skidding on a couple of other turns. It's, that'll get the better of me this time, this week, because I don't think we're coming out this weekend. That's okay. That is okay. Because we got better every time we came out this week, and that is what is important. I keep telling myself that. Maybe, in, I know it's true, but maybe one day I'll really like, believe it and fully embrace it. But part of this is about some mental self-improvement too. So, oh, my phone is telling me I've ridden certain amount of miles. So if you can hear that on the video, sorry. Oh, I haven't learned how to do a bunny hop yet. Hook my water thingy back up. It was out of place. Hopefully it wasn't in front of the camera. Not quite as graceful as last time. But I did it. We'll count that. go. Up or do. Ah, the rut gets me. The rut gets me. It's okay. Roll down. All right. Not very graceful on that one. My legs are starting to feel it. It's been a good week. The end of the week was a little bit more redeeming in terms of how I started the week. But
the whoop. Down, down. Okay. Here we go. Low bridge. Still where and not where you needed to be. That's okay. That's okay. You'll get it eventually. This is a serious last push. Serious last push. I didn't get it. It's a little bit better, but I still didn't get it. Okay, let's hold in strong. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My battery is still working. Thanks for joining us today. And until next time, remember to live life outside of the work that you do.